let's talk about Pascal's triangle. Here, we're starting with the value 1. Now we have two ones below it. Each of those one, each of, each of those ones comes from the sum of the terms above it. Here we have invisible zeros, so we just continue with the ones. But here we have 1, 2, and 1. You can see that we get 1, 2, and 1 by taking the sum of the two terms that are above them. We continue this pattern on and on, and on and on, and on and on, until we have something called Pascal's triangle. Now what is Pascal's triangle? Well let's say we have this binomial, x plus y to the fifth power. That's the same thing as saying x plus y times x plus y times x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. We can use Pascal's triangle to expand this quite easily. You know, instead of applying the FOIL method over and over again, we can just use Pascal's triangle. Here, we have x plus y to the fifth. That means we're going to start here on the sixth row. That's because our expansion is going to have n plus one terms, where n is our degree. So here, we write out the expansion of x plus y to the fifth. You might be thinking, you know, wow, I did all that work really fast, but actually I didn't. I'm just taking these values from Pascal's triangle. So x plus, five, x plus y to the fifth is equal to 1x to the fifth, y to the zero, plus 5x to the fourth, y to the first, plus 10x to the third, y to the second, plus 10x squared, y to the third, plus 5x to the first, y to the fourth, plus 1x to the zero, y to the fifth. Our first terms, our x terms, start from our degree 5 and go downwards to 0. So you can see from the red arrows, red arrows that they go from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. The y's are the opposite. They start at 0 and go up to 5. So they go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we can simplify this a little bit further, and now we have the full expansion of our binomial x plus y to the fifth, which is equal to x to the fifth plus 5x to the fourth y plus 10x to the third y squared plus 10x to the second y to the third plus 5xy to the fourth plus y to the fifth. Except now, instead of having to do all that work with multiplying over and over again, it would have taken a long time. Instead, we just pulled these values directly out of Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle can be used to expand any similar binomial.